Good morning. What are you doing in here? Good morning, Harlow. Good morning. What are you doing? You're singing the watermelon song? Yeah. What song is that? Yeah. Can you sing it? I'm singing the lady. Hold the ball there. That's a dryer ball that you stole from the laundry hamper. I need it. Boop. <laughs> is that your watermelon? Yeah. How do you sing it? Down by the bay. Woman's glove. See the cat talking? <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, let's get you up. Watermelon, it's our dryer ball. Whoa, 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 whoa. what's in here, Hilo? Oh, okay, you ready to make some breakfast? Good morning. I wish I could say that I got up ready before the girls got up ready. Got up early before the girls to get ready, but I got up early, but I did not get ready, so. That is what I'll be doing when Harlow has her first nap of the day. Um, I wanted to film a little bit of a day in the life, not that we're really doing much today. Um, just because I haven't done one in a while. And haven't shown our new house. And my family's probably wanting to see this. So figured I would do that. Hey, Harlow. So generally in the morning, I get her up first. I feed her a bottle, get her changed, and then we go get rye. You remember rye? And then, hey. And then that's when we come in and obviously do breakfast and everything. It's Valentine's Day yesterday, so I did not clean the kitchen before bed. This is usually my pet peeve. I hate waking up to dishes on the counter. I just like starting my day ahead of the game instead of behind. So I'll deal with this later because last night definitely didn't want to. I'll get you some blackberries today. Mm. Do you want pink or orange? Uh, pink and orange. No, which one? Pink and orange. You want pink? Yeah. Okay. Some blackberries. Harlow's going to have some blueberries. <laughs> Rylan is just having some peanut butter toast, blackberries with some hemp parts on top. Call it sprinkle toast. And then... Carlo's basically having the same thing, but with squished blueberries. Hmm. Hmm? This one on this too. Mm -hmm. What do you say? Thank you. You're welcome. Vitamins. I just give her a vitamin D omega-3 supplement every morning. And then she also just has a little bit of orange juice with calcium and vitamin D added. Hi, Arlo. Somebody's, somebody's teething. Ah! Can you wave? You say hi, 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 sweetie. Come in. Hey, what's that? What? He's Everest. Oh yeah, Daddy drew Everest. So after breakfast, this is when we come downstairs and I let the girls play. I usually sit down here with them and play for a bit. 
Um, and then usually around like 10, 10 30, I put Harlow down for her first nap, and that's when I'm kind of able to get some stuff done because I'll leave Rylan down here to do some just independent play. What's wrong? You hurt yourself. Um, she'll just independently play, uh, she'll have a snack. I'm able to just kind of clean up breakfast, get ready if I haven't already for the day, and then I'll come down and just spend some one-on-one -on -one time with her. Hey, hello, it's Lightning McQueen. And Rylan has not been taking a nap anymore, and I did that on purpose. It's not that she was refusing to nap. She would nap every day for like an hour, maybe an hour and a half but it was affecting her bedtime and this lasted for about a month. She would have her nap usually around like 12, 12 30 so that she had enough time before bed to be extra tired but she was still getting put down at 7 and not falling asleep until like 10 p.m. and this went on for a month. We tried a bunch of different things to see if it would change and the only thing that worked was dropping her one hour nap careful please she was actually getting less sleep with the one hour nap and not falling asleep till 10 p.m versus just not napping and going to bed at 7 and then sleeping till like 8 30 sometimes 9. so that's what we did i only did it for like a trial run just to see if she was like actually ready to do that just because she's almost three but you know, sometimes that's too early for some toddlers to stop napping. So I did it for a few days just to see how she was in the late afternoon to make sure, you know, she wasn't grumpy, burning out. Um, just to make sure she was developmentally ready to do it. And she did so good. She actually was a lot better than what she normally is after a nap. So now she sleeps till about 8.30 and then she will nap or she'll go to bed like at pass right out at 6 45 or 7 like zero fuss just right out whereas before she had a million excuses with the stuff out she'd cry she'd play she'd sing and normally that's fine but it was for like three hours long and it got to be just too much she was grumpy the next day because she wasn't sleeping at night and so that's where we're at which is kind of nice when you have two kids because you're not constantly napping at home Yes, what? Hello, monsters get in the toy. Harlow monsters coming. <laughs> How did she get all the way over there? Whoa, Harlow monster, come on. Rylan is in the phase right now where she is really good with her sister. She will help with her sister when she's crying, but she does not want to play with her sister. So if Harlow comes up to her when she's playing, she like has a conniption fit, she'll push her down. Mom. What is that, Harlow? You have garbage. Oh. Hey, what is that? This a uh, book. Just a book? Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, shocked you. Let me see her. She's always finding random stuff to put in her mouth. Um. So Rylan will push her down sometimes. She screams at her to leave, so we're kind of working on that. I try to make sure Harlow's not always invading her space because she does um, I don't expect her to play with a baby, but she does need to learn that you can't push. So today we're just going to an ice festival thing at the park here. I'm just going to take Harlow and Rye. Dan's obviously working right now. He'll be home around 6 p.m. He gets home for, he'll either eat dinner with us if we're having dinner late, or I've already fed the girls and he'll eat dinner after. But he usually is home to help me bathe them and then he'll put one girl down and I'll put the other one down and then he'll also read stories with her so that's kind of our routine during his work days. Good climbing. <laughs> oh just gentle. Thanks Rye. Maybe I could on this. Oh maybe. Here, put your arms up. Are those bracelets now? Look at you! What is it? I think my head's too big. Look! Uh. What am I gonna do with that? <laughs> hey! Look at your hair. <laughs> um, it's 10 o'clock now, so I'm going to. Oh, I'm out of breath. I'm gonna get Harlow a bottle, put her down for a nap. I'm gonna get Rylan a snack, and then she's just gonna play downstairs while I clean up. <laughs> 
all of that and just quickly get myself ready for the day. Um, we basically just played downstairs all morning. The girls played really good together and then we just read some books. So pretty easy morning so far. So let's get you to sleep, hey? What'd you get? Uh, book. <laughs> mm -hmm. book. A bug. Okay, here's book. your water. And your snack. You gonna play? Fix your legs, please. No show. No show. Fix your legs. Sorry. What? No, show. no right? Sorry. <laughs> Carla was just rolling around before she falls asleep. She does this every time. She doesn't cry. She just kind of like talks. Rylan is just sitting on the couch with her raisins and fig bar watching a blank screen. Um, I try not to turn the TV on. Um, usually just once a day, but sometimes twice a day, but I try to make it so that it's a schedule and not just on all day long. I find she pays attention better, she rests, and um, she just focuses better and she's not as grumpy throughout the day. So I watch her on here just to make sure, you know, she doesn't choke or anything like that. I have the sound on. And then usually she just plays while I get some stuff done upstairs and then I'm gonna go down after and spend some time with her. You wanna watch a show? Okay, let's clean up first and then we'll put on a show. Let's get all of our toys in their spots. All right, okay, let's get all your dino trucks. Okay, get your Paw Patrol. Here's Marshall. Okay, go faster. So we have Harlow Barlow is sleeping and Rye is watching her show. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to get ready and I will be watching both of them. I do have to meal plan at some point today and do all of our groceries. I do online grocery orders just cause it's so much easier. Um, cause Dan works 14 days straight. So it's not like I can go out on a Saturday or Sunday and get all of our grocery shopping done while the girls are home with him. So I just do online grocery order pickup and then I usually do it every Saturday night so that we have it for the full week. And <gasps> what about this dragonfly? I like the dragonfly. Hmm. <gasps> so it has a long body and some wings. Yeah. What about... Let's see. Oh, where's the ladybug? We want a red one with black spots. Where? Red bug with black spots. That one? Yeah, that one. Which one? Yeah. We got all of our bugs matched. I think we're just missing that one. I don't know where it went. It is in your bedroom. I don't think it's in our bedroom. It is. Uh, no, you need a haircut. <laughs> Can you even see? A is for ant. Do you have an ant over there? Hmm. Maybe that guy? Yeah. A is for ant. Ants live together in groups called colonies. Some ants live for a few weeks. Other ants live for many years. B. I'm going to make some lunch now. Harlow just woke up. It is... Uh, 12 o'clock. So I'm gonna go get Harlow up and then I'm gonna quickly make them some lunch and then we're going to head out to the ice festival. Good morning. Good morning, sweetie. Do you have a good nap? Let's hop up, please. Raj is having a mishmash for lunch. Okay, come on, hop up. Miss Harlow is just gonna have some avocado and Banana. This is the winter struggle with two kids. Because they can't wear their jackets and snowsuits and the car seats, obviously. 
So I have to put their jackets on now, walk them like two feet, and then take everything back off. It's really frustrating, but it's cold outside, so figure it out. At least where I can independently walk to the car and get in herself, whereas Harlow I have to obviously carry. So this is the ordeal leaving the house. Okay, um, mommy needs her boots okay. on. We did it, we made it into the car, and it's freezing. So I had to run back in and quickly grab some more gloves. So we're gonna head to the ice festival now. It's really nice and sunny, it's just super cold. All right, let's go. Okay, this is quite the ordeal. <laughs> Making sure that you're not running away. Hey, what is that big snow you got? And making sure she is in here. So we are going to head over. Yeah, come look. Nope, we're just looking. Well, yeah, we'll watch right here, okay? Look at that. So we're already done at the festival. We spent like maybe 15 minutes. Um, it's just so cold. Poor Harlow's cheeks were so red and there's only so much I can do um, with Rye and Harlow on my chest. Like I couldn't bring Rye to the ice slides because you need to have a parent at the top. Um, and then I asked her if she wanted to do face painting. She didn't, but then of course, when we got into the car, she started crying saying she wanted her face painted. So typical toddler. But she did really good. She stayed close nearby. You want to you want your face painted. Okay, maybe we'll come back tomorrow. Me. We'll come back tomorrow, right? <laughs> we just got home and I have a major mom fail. <laughs> Rai does, Ozzy, go. Rai does her own boots and she had them on the wrong feet the whole time she was walking. So that definitely probably didn't help her. Good job, Rai. Yep, let's go put them in the closet now. Where's this one go? She is going to sleep. Raya is still eating her snack. <laughs> you saying cheese? Okay. I am going to work on our meal planning and groceries now. I just finished our groceries. It's all ordered for pickup tomorrow at like noon. So this is generally our usual routine. Sometimes we do quiet time in the afternoon where Rye just plays downstairs while Harlow was napping, but I had to do groceries anyway, so I figured I would just sit, come sit down here with her. Um, and for quiet time, I just make sure the TV is off and I will set up some stuff for her, like puzzles or some things that she usually can't play with when Harlow's around just because they're choking hazards. And sometimes I'll play music, but generally I just kind of keep it as quiet as possible and just let her do her own thing. I'll watch her on our nest cam that's set up on the ceiling. Um, I usually aim for one hour. Sometimes she's, if she's happy and content, I'll just keep letting her play. But she's usually at like the one hour mark, she'll scream. She's like, all done quiet time now. So um, that's usually what we do. So today was a little bit different. I just came down here with her anyways, so. Um, once Harlow's up, I will make some dinner. It is 4.15, Harlow just woke up, so she had a pretty decent nap. So I'm gonna go get her. Rai, you wanna play with Play-Doh while I cook dinner? Okay, so I'm gonna pull some Play-Doh out for Rai. She can play with that while I'm cooking, and then Harlow will just play in her playpen, or I'll just stick her in the high chair and she can um, play with some toys there. Oh, 
What are you doing in here? I'm going to be making some chow mein for dinner tonight. So I need to chop up my veggies, start frying some stuff, and get it going. Hey, Harlow! Can you join the sun? <laughs> Buttons. Hmm? Please say push the buttons. What button? Okay. Press that button. Hey, yeah. watch your fingers. Yeah. Alright, cut. Love you. Have good sleeps, Ray Ray. <laughs> it is 6.30 on the dot. Harlow is just trying to go to sleep. She keeps sitting up and then laying back down. <laughs> yeah, she's laying back down. Um, Dan's just gonna cuddle with Rylan for a little bit since it's a little bit early. Usually I have her in bed at like 6.45, the earliest. They just were done with their baths earlier and I don't like to play before bedtime. So we just do stories and then she talks about her day to her dad. She says what she did. Um, they just spend time together. So while he's doing that, I usually just clean up whatever mess is in the kitchen, pack up his lunch for tomorrow and then him and I, um, since with his schedule and how he doesn't get any days off. Um, we work out in our basement together. We just do the beach body works out, or beach body workouts um, together, which if you've never tried them, definitely try the 21 day fix. Um, 
it is honestly the only thing that actually like pushes me to work out and I'll drench a sweat and it's only 30 minutes long. So that's um, what we've been doing every single night together. It's only 30 minutes. So that's kind of like our time and just, just for our health because we can't get to the gym. If he's working, I would have to bring both girls during the daycare hours and it's just like, oh my God, I'd rather just work out at home and then have it done. So that's what we do. Um, and then Dan has usually in bed by like nine, just so, cause he does have to wake up at like four in the morning for work. So he usually goes to bed early and then I'll just either like be on my phone or um, read or something like that. So after we work out, probably just watch a show and then shower, head to bed. So that is basically our entire day. Um, not like identical to every single day. Obviously, Rye does gymnastics once a week. Um, we do tumble time, which is at like the, it's a local arena where they set up like bouncy castles and do obstacle courses. So we do that twice a week. Um, today was the only day where we actually just didn't have anything like actually planned. So that's what we do on those days. Um, and then we also do more quiet time throughout the week as well. So thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed it, please like this video and subscribe to see more. Thanks so much.